still play those instruments, so there's like nothing recorded. They actually play, and they play ACDC, they play Metallica, they play Motorhead. They're like really badass robots. I think we all like robots, but why do we have this obsession with robots looking like people? Do we want to play God? Do we want to create a more advanced species? What if they kill us when they become as intelligent as we are? And this dream of making robots, this obsession of making robots look like people is nothing new. Leonardo da Vinci created an automata which was supposed to behave like a robot 500 years ago. And we've all seen lots of movies with robots, some of them with good robots, some of them with bad robots. The problem is like, how do we know that in 20 years, 100 years, 500 years, when robots will be smarter than us, they will not say, okay, now we treat human, as human, human people as our pets, or better better kill them, because there are too many, okay? <clears throat> and a lot of people are afraid. And this is why in science fiction, there was an author called Isaac Asimov who proposed three rules for robots. First, a robot will not harm a human person. Second, a robot must obey a human person. And third, a robot must protect himself unless it contradicts one of the first two laws. But it's bad news. This is science fiction. It cannot be done in real life. And let me give you an example. It's this situation where we have military robots and a lot of them done by a company called Boston Dynamics who is owned by Google. And I think they're pretty scary because they have no laws, no rules, okay? So this last robot was made in Japan and actually one of them was for sale on Amazon Japan for 1.2 million dollars and someone bought it and it's a kind of robot where you have a human inside and he can you know shoot other people, he can use it as a war machine. So should we be afraid of robots? Should we say no to developing more robots? I don't know. But we have also good robots, I think. Like Jibo? Okay. Introducing Jibo, the world's first family robot. Say hi, Jibo. Hi, Jibo. <laughs> Jibo helps everyone out throughout their day. He's the world's best cameraman. By intelligently tracking the action around him, he can independently take video and photos so that you can put down your camera and be a part of the scene. Jibo, take the picture. He's a hands-free helper. You can talk to him, and he'll talk to you back, so you don't have to skip a beat. Excuse me, Anne? Yes, Jibo. Melissa, just sent a reminder that she's picking you up in half an hour to go grocery shopping. Thanks, Jibo.
So these are real, these are not science fiction. This is happening now. And there's also other good parts about robots. There's a lot of people who have prosthesis, or what it prosthesis for their hands, for their leg. And actually this is an experiment where they put together all sorts of like prosthesis that are used now in medicine to create what they call the brain. We brought together all these different things and got something that has actually come to life. There's a pulse, it's alive, it's moving. A brain, feelings, emotion, intelligence. What kind of music do you like? I like Eminem. Eminem is a famous crapper. <laughs> There's no other word to describe it, but amazing. It's ready to put the blood in. Seeing the body walk for the first time, I think that was the moment of coming to life. For the first time ever in the history of humanity, we have the human body subject to cyber attack. It's unnerving, isn't it? What is a boundary that we shouldn't cross? Or is there some standard for nature that we're tampering with? We can rebuild you better, faster, stronger. We might change what it means to be human. We're really looking forward to, to putting together a, a body out of, out of body parts. Yes, you can make robots which are smarter, stronger, better, live more than us. And actually, again, this is happening right now in Japan. You can create robots that look very scarily like us. Do they look cute? Scary? I don't know. And this is a project that I'm working on right now as part of Startup Chile here in Santiago. And it's about allowing people to become immortal through preserving their minds in the robot, the computer. And the way it works, you have an avatar, you sign up on this site, you have an avatar, you talk to it the rest of your life, the next 30, 40, 60 years, and it learns a lot of things about you, and then, after you pass away, other people will be able to talk to this avatar the same way they will talk to you. And I'm going to show you how it works. Who thinks that people 
and robots can live happily together. Okay, what about the rest of you? What do you believe? Oh. I have to speak Spanish next time. <laughs> the problem is all the species live for a while which can be thousands, hundreds of thousands of years, millions of years, remember dinosaurs, and then they die. And probably this is going to happen to the humans too. Not tomorrow, not in one year, maybe 10,000 years, maybe 10 million years, who knows. But until then, you really have to think about this right now. When we start building robots, how will we prevent them from making us an extinct species? Or are we going to live together in the same body? Who knows? Thank you.